Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically sync SVG icons or SVG images from a spreadsheet directly into your Figma layers automatically using the CopyDoc plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go to your Figma file, click on the little resources icon up here, and then just search for CopyDoc, so that's C-O-P-Y doc and under the plugins tab if you click on the copy doc result you can run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here or i'd recommend clicking on this little save icon here and that'll save it to your plugins list for easy access later so i've already saved it to my plugins list so i'm just going to right click on my canvas go down to plugins then go down to saved plugins and click on copy doc and that's just going to run the plugin we saved a second ago so if you're new to the plugin, it has a bunch of different features and I'm not going to be going through all of them today. Uh, if you're interested in some of the other features, there's more YouTube tutorials on the channel. Just find the copy dot playlist and you can check out videos for those. But for today, I'm just going to be focusing on this sync spreadsheet function down here. So what this is going to allow us to do is swap out the content of our layers here automatically from a spreadsheet like this Google sheet here uh, or an Excel file, which I'll show you later as well and automatically import that content along with these vector icons into our frames here. So all we need to do to get started is click on this little sync spreadsheet button down here. And then what we can do is either upload an Excel file or a CSV file or paste in a public Google Sheet link. So I'll show you the Google Sheet uh, link first and then I'll show you how to do the Excel file as well. So first of all, you just need to make sure that your spreadsheet or Google Sheet is structured in this way. So the first row is going to contain your header. And the thing you need to be mindful of is just the header names have to match up with the layer names in Figma that you want to sync. So for example, we've got this header called hash title. And you can see in my Figma file here, I've got these three text layers and they're all named the same. So it's got hash title as the layer name for all those. Likewise with my icons, I've just got a few frame layers. So these are just Figma frames. Uh, you could use rectangles or uh, other shapes as well. But I'm just using a frame to keep it simple. And I've named each of those hash icon as well, which you can see matches up with hash icon in the header uh, over here too. So as long as those are matched up in Figma and your spreadsheet, you should be ready to go. So the next thing you need to do is just click on the share button up here in Google Sheets and then just make sure the general access setting is set to anyone with the link uh, can be a viewer and then just copy the copy link button. So click on copy link and that'll copy the link to your clipboard. And then all you need to do is go back to copy doc, paste in the link you just copied to your Google Sheet and paste that into this input field here. And that will automatically load up your Google Sheet tabs. Uh, if you've only got one tab, as I do in this case, it'll automatically just load in that first tab. Uh, and then all you need to do is select the layers you want to sync. So I'm just going to select the parent layers. So I've got my top level frame uh, layers here. So what this is going to do is it's going to loop through each of the selected frames, find any layers inside of that frame that matches up those names with our header names in the spreadsheet and automatically sync the content. So I'll show you what that looks like here. Uh, you can change the order of the sync. So I'm just going to do sort the order vertically from top to bottom and then just click on the sync rows button. And that's basically going to download our SVG icons and sync them into the content in our Figma file. So you can see here that the contents from the spreadsheet have automatically been synced. Uh, the other thing to note is that you might have noticed the second row here has an SVG tag. So you can either link to an SVG file. So you can see I've got a link to an SVG uh, path here that's hosted on a website and then the second option is just the pure SVG tag So what that means is you could copy paste the source code of an SVG file directly into the cell And that's automatically going to get rendered as an image as well So if you don't want to host the SVGs uh, on an actual URL You do have the option of just embedding the SVG code there as well So you've got the option to either provide a link or the SVG tag our text content under the title heading has automatically been synced to all of our title layers that have been named with that same hash title layer naming convention. And then it's also gone ahead and synced our SVG icons directly into these uh, frame layers here. So it's important to note that those are getting synced as image fills. So you can see here in the layer fill, it's just getting added as a uh, fill in that layer. So it's not actually importing the vector data as a vector layer. It's just importing it as an image, but it's rendering it uh, at obviously a very high resolution uh, converted from that SVG. So they're going to be very sharp. 
So that's how you can do it from Google Sheets. And now that we've looked at that, if you're interested in sticking around to see how to do this from a local zip file, so that means you don't have to uh, upload the images if you just wanna upload them directly from your computer. So if you don't wanna upload uh, the images anywhere, you don't wanna use an embed tag, you just have a bunch of SVG files on your computer, you can add those directly into Figma uh, from through the plugin as well. So the way we can do that is we basically just create a local Excel file or a CSV file and you wanna do the same naming convention. So we've got the title and the icon exactly the same as we had in our Google Sheet. But you can see this time, instead of linking to the SVG files online or the embed tags, uh, the file names themselves are just being included in these paths here. So the way this is gonna work is we're basically gonna zip up these three SVG files. So the files that we referenced in our spreadsheet. And then we're also just gonna include the spreadsheet itself. So I've got the spreadsheet file, uh, which we've got open here, and then the three files that we're referencing. And we're just gonna select all of those and then right click and click on compress. Uh, if you're on Windows, it might be a different option to add it to a zip file, but you basically just wanna zip up those SVG files along with the Excel file, create a new zip file here. You can rename that if you want to. Uh, so we can call it import uh, SVG for copy doc. And that's gonna allow us to drag and drop this into our plugin in a second. So I'm just gonna close that off. I'm just gonna undo those updates from Google Sheets to revert it to what we had before without the content populated. So we've got our layers back to what they were initially. Now I'm just gonna go back into the sync spreadsheet function again. And this time, instead of using a Google URL, I'm gonna drag and drop this zip file that we just created into this drop zone area here drag and drop that and you can see it's instantly loaded because it doesn't have to download anything from the internet. And you can see here, it's basically finding uh, the spreadsheet uh, data that we just uploaded from the zip. So again, I'm gonna select these three layers. I'm just gonna click on sync rows and you can see it's automatically updated those layers from our spreadsheet, but this time it's done it from our local zip file here. So that's pretty cool. If you don't wanna upload all of your images online, you can just have a folder full of SVG images and zip those up with your Excel file, as I just showed you a second ago, and that'll be good to go. You just drop and drag and drop the uh, zip file and you can automatically upload that. So that's basically it for this tutorial. I just wanted to show you those two different methods of importing the SVG files to your Figma file automatically, either from a Google Sheet using hosted SVG links or embedded SVG tags, or using your local SVG files and zipping those up into a zip file along with a local Excel file spreadsheet. Uh, and of course, if you did want to also save this Google Sheet out to a spreadsheet, so you could basically just download that to an Excel file uh, here. You could also just manually drag and drop that Excel file into your plugin drop zone area here. And that would be exactly the same as importing the Google Sheet as well. So if you wanna import a local copy uh, with the hosted links and the embed tag, you can obviously do that as well. Uh, all you need to do is create a local uh, copy of that, so in Excel, and that'll be good to go as well. So I hope that's been helpful. If you've been wondering how to sync up SVG icons or SVG vector layers from a spreadsheet into Figma, this is a really good way of doing it at scale. If you've got dozens of frames or dozens of layers that have vector icons and uh, text copy that you need to update in bulk, uh, this is gonna be a really handy way of automating that process and having all the content and SVG assets and SVG icons all kind of uh, stored in the one place in a spreadsheet that you can re-update as needed. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.